Hi all, welcome to the Urbi Academy. Today I have come up with a one beautiful uh, intro question, which has been asked during the last interviews. It will be very useful useful for L two production support engineers or L three production support engineers, DevOps engineers or Linux administrations engineers. It is very useful for them who are looking for the job. What is the question they have asked is, it is related to the process and the service. Okay, the scenarios come under checking the service status, and we need to check the service status and whether it is up, whether it is down, and based on that. We have to take an action. It is based on how the questions they are going to ask. The recent question I have got from the interviewer was the question. Let us come to the question. How would you write a script to check if the service is running and restart if it is not? If it is not. So I have taken an example of the Apache two, Apache two service. Here and you guys can take like the Java or the Nginx or the some other services. Okay, here I have taken an example of Apache two. Okay, and how the question is and before writing anything and we need to uh, what are the steps we need to follow and all the steps I have mentioned here. I am going to explain you this for the one by one. Uh, I have taken into the Notepad plus plus. Okay, see here the the first step. What we have to do is the first line we need to write as the cell script here is the hash exclamatory mark slash bin and slash watch. And next, what we have to take is the service which service you are going to check. The for example, uh, I am checking the service of uh, Apache two. That is the reason I have mentioned here Apache two. Uh, you 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 could have taken the other service means you guys can replace this with the name some other name like the Java or the Nginx something like this. Okay, I have for example I have taken the this is the variable service is the variable name. Within this variable I have store this value Apache. Okay, and then I need to check the whether the service is active or non-active okay for manually also we can check the how the service is active or not okay so for this checking the status of the um, uh, particular ser service what we are going to use it here is let me show you that the check the service is active with the command. This the this might ask the um, question direct question they are going to ask. You can say uh, sudo sudo is the like the root permission in system CTL is the service uh, like the keyword uh, and status. We are going to see the status of that. The this is the service name. Okay, if you throw this now, uh, what is happening to this Apache to sir? service it is going to tell the status okay let us check manually okay i am telling you how you can debug and how you can write the script okay and i have opened i have connected to the my low like the remote ser server open to via putty let me go to the putty i will show you the what is the status okay Okay, see here. What is the status? The status is running. Okay, active. What is the see here? Apache two dot service. Okay, active, active and running. Okay, and during that time, what you guys have to do? Nothing. You have to display the name and uh, it is running. If it is the uh, like the uh, uh, down, you need to make it up. So uh, they are saying. Like, uh, what is their question is, you can see it here, right? Uh, check if the service is running. If it is service is running, you would have to display the message are running. If it is not, and restart it. So now uh, you, you could have checked the service is running. Our uh, cell script should give the message as 
uh, Apache services up and running. For this, how we can do the check, okay? And to test, we are going to use the if condition here. If systemctl, this is the keyword to check the ser service status and is underscore active. If it is active, then we need to quit that service. Quit uh, underscore like the hyphen hyphen uh, dollar service means this service I need to quit here and I need to this condition is met true then I am displaying the message as uh, echo echo is printing the whatever the uh, like the string we are mentioning in the double quote it is going to display and dollar service means the service name Apache 2 is up and running it is going to show in our case we have saw this manually, right? So we have checked this status. Status is active only. So during this situation, our cell script should give the message as Apache 2 is up and running. It should give. For example, for example, if it is not running, if it is not running, okay. If it is not running, is a, it, it, this false means, then we have to display the message as service is not running and restarting during that time we need to start that service i am going to show you this also okay and during that time to start the service we need to use sudo this is the root permission uh, like the root user and systemctl is the keyword and start is the keyword we are going to use it for the starting and dollar service which service you want to start like the in my case apache 2 service i'm going to start okay and once this is a start and we need to again you need to check the service the uh, like the, again you need to check the status of it once it is started it has to oh, i have to make sure that the service is up and running okay and uh, again you check the if uh, if system ctl is active then if it is active then quit this uh, apache to uh, service and then i will display the message as echo dollar service restarted successfully else the fail to restart the service okay here this if condition has been closed here using the fi and this if uh, is closed as fi so here the two if conditions are has been closed this is the end of this pro, uh, this uh, like the script okay whenever the interviewer is asking if you they will ask you to share your screen and they will ask you to write the script if you write like this na definitely you are in i am 100% sure because they are checking whether you are able to understand what they are saying whether you know the how to check the services and if you know this uh, one services now nah, you can write the service uh, like the script for others also that is the reason they are going to check uh, check your ability okay and how we can what is the steps we need to follow to execute in the uh, uh, like the any uh, ser uh, servers like the i have written the steps here you guys can follow it okay and step to execute the cell script in the links. The first step is to create the new file called apache to service uh, check.sh. The name can be, you can give anything. For convenience purpose, I have given the apache to service check I am given uh, using the text editor nano or the vi in the Linux. I have used the vi text editor. I will show you that. Okay, next step, add the following code. Whatever the code I have shown you, na, I am going to add this code. And after that, I am going to set the script executable permission by running and ch mode. Okay. If I am not giving this, na, the uh, I am going to uh, like the I am not able to execute the cell script. How we can execute the cell script is execute the cell script uh, dot current directory slash this what is the file name we need to give and during this situation and we are able to either you can execute the script using the sh space the whatever the file name i will show you that the two ways okay let us jump on to the creating this file okay go to here where, where is the path 
I am storing this. Okay. What is this? The home Raju script. Okay. So VI, you can check that file is there or not. That file is not there. You guys can see here. Okay. And I will uh, like the whatever the whatever the data is there. VI. Okay. Then insert. And I'm going to copy the data from here. Okay. I have already, okay. Right click and then save escape. Cool on WQ. Okay. You can check the whether the file has been created. You can see it here. See here. LS hyphen LTR. This. You can see the date September 29, 1258. The, this file has been created with the read write permission read write permission for the user read write permission for uh, uh, group and read permission for others but we don't have the execute permission okay and now <clears throat> now uh, what is the second step what they are saying we have added the following code and set the executor permission by running them we are not setting this permission before that we'll try to execute it okay so dot slash Okay, we'll follow this. Okay. Let us see what is the issue I'm going to get. See here, permission denied. In the real time also, you guys are going to paste this kind of things. Before executing the NA script, you guys have to do the execute permission. You can see it here. There is a no execute permission here. That is the reason you are going to paste this kind of issue. During that time, how we can uh, avoid this is just ch ch mode plus x i'm going to give the execute permission for all the things here okay and now there is a no error then try to execute it see here now there is a no error as we discussed apache 2 is up and running you can see here it is active that is the reason our script has given uh, our script has given what it has given so it has checked here it is active then it has created a service displaying this message okay now i am going to stop that service now what i am going to to stop that services the sudo systemctl stop apache 2 i am going to throw this one okay again we'll check the status okay i'm going to start this uh, I am going to uh, again check the status. How you guys are going to uh, use this command? See here now, status inactive and dead. Inactive and dead status. It is a stopped. As per our uh, code, this message has to be displayed. Okay. The service is not running and restarting and the service restarted successfully. Two messages has to be given to us. Okay. And in the real time, they will ask you to um, uh, send out the mail. Okay. If it is starting, okay. Uh, we can make that using the mail hyphen s command. And uh, if it is the mail server, we, we need to include the some commands there so that you can send out the mail also. There is a no worry about that. Okay. And as of now, oh, see, the, now I have stopped it. Okay. Uh, stop the okay. Uh, stop the Apache HTTP support. Okay. Uh, deactivated successfully. Okay. And then uh, I need to uh, uh, execute this. Okay. See here. Apache two is running. Is not running and restarting it. Apache two is restarted successfully. If you check the status again. Pseudo system city status see the active and running earlier what it was giving inactive status and dead state okay running okay this is how you guys have to work in the real time if you guys have the any question regarding the, uh, this questions uh, like the answering or anything else you guys comment on this video i will try to answer as a list thanks for watching this video thank you guys thank you very much